Yemen is at risk of the worst famine the world has seen in decades, according to the United Nations. The UN warns that 16 million people will go hungry this year, including some 400,000 children who will suffer from what it calls severe acute malnutrition and could die without urgent treatment. Yemen was already the Arab world's poorest country before its civil war escalated in 2015. Houthi rebels, backed by Iran, control most of the population there. The Yemeni government, which is helped by a Saudi-led coalition, which is backed by the UK, uh, has been carrying out a bombing campaign in support of the internationally recognised government. Our international correspondent Orla Gehring's report from southern Yemen does contain some distressing scenes from the start. Every breath is a struggle. And he is dangerously thin. Mohammed Amar is 12 months old, but too weak to hold his head up. He's in the grip of severe acute malnutrition. Mohammed needs to go to hospital urgently. His mother, Haria, knows but can do nothing. <laughs> This rural clinic couldn't provide transport for Mohammed. We were able to give mother and baby a lift to the hospital an hour away. This was a chance encounter in Taiz province, an area ravaged by hunger in one of the world's poorest countries. Malnutrition was entrenched in Yemen before the war, but has increased every year since. At Halifa Hospital, doctors do what they can. They say Mohammed's weight is about half what it should be, and he has a chest infection. He's put on oxygen, a lifeline for now. Uh, we can help the, the case which reach to our hospital. But there is a lot of baby cannot reach to our hospital. So this is the problem. Are you afraid that there are children dying at home? Yes, there is a lot of cases dying at home due to a lot of factors or a lot of causes. Those causes are complex, but don't include lack of food in the markets. There's plenty to buy, but many can't afford it. Six years of conflict have taken their toll. Food prices have risen about 140 per cent. The Yemeni currency has collapsed along with the economy. And the youngest here are heartbreakingly vulnerable. Her name is Ghada Walid. She came because of acute gastroenteritis. She's four months old. Tiny Gada is deteriorating rapidly in the southern city of Aden. For her mother, Ibtida, displaced by the war, seeing her like this, rigid with pain, is another trauma. Gada has severe acute malnutrition and is running a high fever. Dr. Maha Suleiman tries to cool down her tiny body with a cold cloth. Some of Gada's test results come back. It's not good news. When I found the really sick children and they keep on uh, coming deteriorated or not responding to treatment, it's uh, very hard. Even we have uh, some of the sleep disturbance, really, for me. I have a sleep disturbance some nights and it's uh, very hard and painful. And we have uh, even no time to change the, sh uh, the, the sheet of the bed. Just to change the sheet and another patient is just coming. Well, doctors are now extremely concerned about Gada. They say her case is critical. She needs an X-ray, but it's too far away across the hospital. They can't take the chance of moving her now. She's on oxygen at the moment, and they're just trying to stabilize her. As the spectre of famine hangs over Yemen, those in need are getting less food aid because of cuts in international donations. The UN says Yemenis are not starving, they are being starved. 
Since we filmed these pictures, Gada has died. Orla Guerin, BBC News, Southern Yemen. Uh, the terrible plight of so many uh, young children there in Yemen. That was Orla Guerin reporting.